Unless you are lucky enough to have them visiting your back garden, most people will never see a badger close up. This is because badgers are nocturnal, which means that they only come out at night. However, our countryside is full of examples of the activity of badgers. All you have to do is look. Here are just a couple of the most common signs that you might see. Badgers live in underground systems called sets. The visible part of these are the entrances and the spoil heaps, which are large mounds of earth that have been excavated from the set during its construction. Inside, the tunnels themselves wind their way through, and just off of these tunnels will be larger open areas called chambers. Badgers spend most of their time underground during the day, and will emerge at night to forage for food. Although they don't hibernate, badgers will spend large portions of the time during the colder winter months curled up within the warmth of their set. There are four kinds of set. The main set, the annex set, the outlier set, and the subsidiary set. The most easily recognisable of these is the main set. Each group of badgers, called a clan, has only one main set in their territory, and it is where they spend most of their time. It is where the dominant male, that's the boar, and the female, the sow, have their cubs. Some of these sets can be over a hundred years old and will have been worked on by generations of the same badger clan. They will have lots of well-used entrances, big spoil heaps and lots of well-worn paths. The other three types of set will appear less used than the main set. The entrances will be more overgrown with vegetation and some of them will even be full of dead leaves and twigs. There will be fewer, if any, paths and there won't be as many other signs of activity in and around the set itself. Another slightly more subtle piece of evidence of badger activity are the footprints that they may leave behind, particularly in the snow or after wet weather. Badger footprints have a distinctive kidney-shaped pad, as well as four, but sometimes five, little toes just above it. You may also see the points of their claws. Badgers are creatures of habit and tend to stick to the same roots throughout the countryside. These roots, or paths, will have been trodden by generations of badgers and are about 20 centimetres wide. You may see footprints on them. Now, as they're particularly stubborn creatures, badgers will try to go under or over any obstacles in their way rather than around them, which is why you may see some slight depressions underneath some fence lines. A badger has tried to push its way underneath. You may be lucky and there may be a little tuft of fur on the bottom strand of the wire. Another obvious but slightly more smelly example of the signs left behind by badgers are the dung pits in the trees. Badgers rely heavily on their sense of smell, so often dig shallow pits to dung in. A single pit is called a dung pit, and several pits together is called a latrine. This denotes the boundary of the clan's territory. You may also notice the feeding sites left behind by badgers. One of these sites is called the snuffle hole, which is a small, spiral-shaped pattern in the grass where the badger has used its nose to dig down after retreating earthworms, one of their favourite foods. However, you may also see more obvious signs, such as where badgers have tried to dig out wasps' nests and bees' nests, as this is a delicacy for our stripy-faced friends. So there we have it, just a couple of the signs that you may see of badger activity when you're out and about in the countryside. Next time you're out, why not have a look and see how many of them you can find. Good luck, have fun and enjoy.